Hi, I'm Dan, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT with Nova from Panic. Now, Nova is a great text editor, and it's my text editor of choice, um, especially when I'm building components for Rapid Weaver Elements. Now, ChatGPT has got some great integration to work closely with apps on the Mac. So let's uh, dive into this. I've got Elements open here. Uh, let me just get rid of that. I've got Elements open, and I'm working on this newsletter. It's not finished yet, so you can see it's still in progress. It's not looking that great. But I've started to build up some styling for the for editing this, so some properties here. Um, but let's hop back over to Nova because I want to open this project and look at the code. So here we are. So this is my element dev pack, and I've got all the code here. And I want to edit this properties file. Now, I want to add some more, um, some more color pickers in here. So what we can do, I can see I've got a title and a heading here, and I can see next up we've got this, um, we've got the color picker, and I want another one of these. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna copy this code, and I'm just gonna paste it in here. Now, I'm thinking, great, hopefully this will work. I save the file, and oh, nothing happens. So there's an error in here. So let's go over to ChatGPT, and this is just a normal ChatGPT window at the moment, but we need to hook it into um, Nova, and we can do that with this new option here. You can pick, um, I've already activated the link between Nova and ChatGPT, um, but you'll see it in a list down here if you haven't activated it. So now that I do have it. Um, I'll include a link to the docs on how to link these two things up, it, but it's very simple. If you just launch the app and click here, you'll see the option if you've got Nova installed. So we want to work with Nova, and I'm going to click this little plus button, and now it tells me it's working with Nova, and I'm just going to select all of the um, all of the code in here, and when I go back to chat GPT, you can see it's focused on line 2 to 39. That's great. Um, can you fix this file for me? So I can just take, tell it to take a look at this um, because it's got the context now. It knows what it's working with. I don't need to paste the code into ChatGPT here, which is really nice. Um, Okie dokie. So uh, it's thought about the JSON structure issue for four seconds. All right, that's great. Um, I presume it's fixed it. Let's copy this and paste it back in here. And if we save this file, hopefully um, we'll see this little icon up here, Shimmer, and the um, our, our second color chooser appear in here. So let's save, boom, and there it is. So ChatGPT identified the issue for me and fixed it. The issue was I was missing um, a comma to separate out these properties in this JSON file. Um, but you know, especially as the, this got bigger, I could have just, I knew this was the issue, <laughs> but you know, as these get bigger and more complex, it's really handy to have this to say, you know, to just look over these files. Um, and it also tidied up the indentation as well, which is very nice. So super handy. Um, and obviously I could fix issues in here as well. I, you know, I just select these lines here. And if I go back over, Nova tells me, um, ChatGPT tells me it's working on those lines there. So any questions I ask it will be focused on that. Um, so super help, helpful, super handy when you're trying to build components in Rapid Weaver Elements, just to have this little helper here for if things aren't quite going right and you need, um, need someone else to look at the code. So super handy. I hope you found that video useful and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.